art is kind of, I think, always there somewhere um, in my music, but not quite as directly as it is in this particular suite. My name is Rona McGrath. I'm the Arts Officer with Roscommon County Council. This particular project has been initiated by the, the Arts Office um, last year in recognition of the fabulous Steinway Grand Piano that we have here at King House. So, um, working with Caroline Wynne from Artscope with my colleagues in the County Council, we decided on a commission and we wanted to look at the versatility of the piano. So it'll, we'll look at different genres of music. So this year is traditional. Next year there could be, I don't know, there'll be jazz somewhere or the next year or the year after, because it's going to be a three year, at least, series of commissions. The Grand Piano was purchased in 1998 by Roscommon County Council with the Arts Council of Ireland. So it's one of, I think, about four grand Steinway pianos in the country that was purchased under this scheme. So it's just amazing to have this in Boyle, in King House. I learnt about the King House Piano Commission for 2020 or 2021, um, that two-year blur <laughs> that has become. And it said that it had to be a mixture of traditional music and classical or contemporary music and had to in some way reflect Roscommon and its inhabitants and its landscape. I just I knew straight away that this was something I would absolutely love to do. The Roscommon musicians that were part of the commission for me were very much there at the beginning in my mind. They were the people I wanted to work with. I'm Mossy Martin and I play the fiddle. And I grew up about 10 miles away from here, uh, near the village of Kiju in North County Roscommon. So when I started playing as a, as a youngster and a teenager, there wasn't many people my age playing music. So it wasn't the coolest thing in the world to be doing, you know. And uh, I ended up in, in lots of pubs with um, older generations of musicians. And uh, it was great, uh, great influence from them. You know, they, gave, they had real spirit to their music and uh, they passed uh, a lot of information and folklore and stories on, you know. I had worked with Mossy before. I just, I loved his traditional style, which for me is very, very kind of part of this region. Um, so I wanted him to be there. Uh, and then likewise, Alan Kelly, uh, is a world-class piano accordionist. I grew up in a very strong traditional music household and, and, and region, indeed. My late father, Frank, taught me the piano accordion. Um, he was a, a very renowned player, well-known man around, around the country, and that's where I got my love of music. I'm Steph Jeremiah and um, I'm probably best known as a traditional flute player and traditional singer um, but I'm also, also classically trained from years ago and trained in uh, world music as well. So these people were there at the start. Whenever I started to write the application they were part of my initial creative idea and I'm just so delighted that they're still here at the, at the end of the process that they didn't give up. <laughs> The first time I received the score, it was, oh my God, am I going to be able to do this at all? <laughs> it was daunting. You know, as a traditional musician, I'm not used to uh, playing the dots and playing uh, straight off the page. But bit by bit, you know, I uh, worked out the notes and um, got the, the, the feel of the music under the fingers and um, did a lot of rehearsal, listening and playing along with the music. So it, it was lovely with this piece I think because it was left open from the writing process whether we would go um, kind of more classical, more trad. Originally I was playing some of the, the pieces on trad flute but actually we switched over to classical to kind of blend the two, the traditional and classical together. Yeah, this, this is tough. It's going to be challenging for me because I come from the traditional idiom. I, I did study music to, to a certain level but I'm not a fast reader. You know, it's, it's a skill that I've kind of left behind. Um, I tend to use my, I use my ear. So for me, I really learned the piece by ear. I wasn't 
reading notes. It was just little, little short maps I make for myself. When I came to King House for the first time, I came across some of the beautiful artworks that are throughout King House, part of the, the Boyle Civic Art Collection. And I initially thought, gosh, I wonder could I, can I include those in, in some way? And I noticed a lot of recurring themes. There was a lot of abstract art, but there was also a lot of landscape. And uh, not surprising, given the kind of the area that we're in and its natural beauty that painters would want to respond to that. Uh, and I noticed in the different landscapes that they reflected different seasons. I straight away kind of thought, I can see a, a kind of a, a nice cycle here that reflects the seasons, both musically and artistically. From that point on then, I was using the paintings as a stimuli to kind of get me going. So, for example, Autumn is a, a, a painting called October Road, and it's a very um, swirly, kind of windswept landscape. And I think that comes out in the music. The music is a, is a windswept, kind of turbulent figure that moves around in, in, a, in an uneven time signature. So nothing, nothing is settled, which is like autumn. So, you know, it's a, it's a season of transition. There's rests in it, which uh, rests are silence in music, you know. So as traditional musicians, we wouldn't be used to playing silence at all, you know. They wouldn't come into the tunes. So that was tricky for me, was to, how to, to play uh, the silent bits and, and at the right length, the right duration. And then we get into winter and uh, the painting that it's based on is, is a beautiful uh, winter scene out at Crochen and it's exceptionally still. And the music itself then is exceptionally still and crystalline like the snow. It became, I suppose, exciting when we realised uh, how challenging it was and how complex the piece is and uh, how Fussy, Ryan is, made it interesting and challenging as well. And it moves on into um, spring then, which is a little waltz. And he composed this in response to a, a painting by a Sligo painter called Nick Miller. And um, it's a lovely waltz. It's a lovely simple tune, but it's beautiful. And the way it builds up and the way he has it uh, scored to uh, you know, end in a crescendo with the, the, all the instruments playing as loud as they can. Uh, I, think it's, I think that's a wonderful part of it. But I invented a little season after spring, <laughs> between spring and summer, uh, like late spring, which I think actually we have in this country. There's like a, a little time in May when the, the weather gets really good. It's, it's a big joyous reel and that's an, it's an untitled work. It's a huge colourful tree, almost like spring has reached its its climax and we're now heading into summer. And then the piece recedes back into summer to finish, back to that very first painting with the same kind of material, but ever so slightly changed harmonically. And that brings the piece to a close. It makes me really proud as a Roscommon man that there's a, a fantastic piece of music, specially composed and commissioned for, you know, the piano in King House in Boyle and uh, I'm delighted to be a part of it. Really a lovely, lovely adventure doing it and lovely um, challenge really to get through it. Right? And get the classical flute chops back up to scratch. So <laughs> very enjoyable, but wow, definitely. <laughs> I was coming through Roscommon. I was walking up the steps, coming up the stairs and into this room I was seeing all these different kinds of paintings. So there was a journey into the paintings for me.
Thank you. 